I just find it really unnerving that these people have the ability. This is like targeted. This is not just somebody racking up a holiday on your credit card. This is targeted activity. And it is incredibly frightening to know that somebody knows so much about your life. Sharon fell victim to a scam known as SIM swap fraud. It's where criminals trick your mobile provider into switching your number to another SIM card. And once they're in, they can hack your bank accounts. I came out of a meeting uh, in the afternoon and uh, had a text from EE saying that my SIM would be my new SIM would be activated uh, within 24 hours. And I thought, mm, I haven't asked for a new SIM. That's a bit strange. Um, so I was coming out of London. So I phoned them once I got above above ground and. Um, when I spoke to the lady, she said, oh, yes, well, it was done through verbal verification. And I was like, mm, I'm telling you that actually this is not a SIM that I've requested. I don't need a new SIM. So I popped into the store. I spoke to a really good chap, actually, really knowledgeable. And he basically kind of scared the life out of me and told me that actually the reason people do this is to transfer the SIM to their own phone so that they can access your bank verification details. Network providers have security questions in place to make the scam harder to pull off. But since 2015, reports of SIM swap fraud have gone up by 400%. By gathering information about you via social media or stolen data, criminals are still finding a way in. When I logged on to my Gmail in the morning, um, reasonably early, I realised that I'd been locked out of my Chrome. I'd had a variety of messages and text messages saying that um, I, uh, my passwords had been changed, um, that activity had been deleted. Um, so I managed to reaccess my Chrome. And not long after that, once I got into the store at nine o'clock, I finally thought, oh, I must check my premium bonds. At that point, I realised that they'd also attempted to um, withdraw uh, just over £9,000 worth of premium bonds, which was hugely distressing. This affected me an awful lot more than I thought it would. Um, The fact is that somebody has gone through every aspect of my life. I swayed between being really stressed, really angry, really distressed when I thought I'd lost uh, literally my life savings. Um, you know, I don't have a huge amount and that was a lot of money to me. If you're worried about SIM swap fraud, there are ways to protect yourself. When choosing your security questions, remember you can answer them randomly. So for a question like what's the name of your first school, which might be easy to find out online, you could choose a completely unrelated answer. Use a two-factor authentication app like Authy or Microsoft Authenticator. These add an extra layer of security and make it harder for scammers to reset your passwords. And if you get an unexpected text about a PAC code, call your mobile network straight away. And to be on the safe side, also contact your banks and change your passwords. Have you been affected by SIM swap fraud? Get in touch and share your experience.